The sun is strong out there. If you go to the beach, uh, generally, if you haven't uh, been out there, it only takes about, oh, 30 or 45 minutes before you really start to burn. So be extra careful if you're going out. Uh, as you know, the sun is uh, okay if you take a little bit of it, but don't take too much of it. And the weather is going to stay this hot right through the week. Okay, now set a spell. All you out there getting ready for work, grab your cup of coffee, sit down for a couple of minutes. I want you to watch this. It's important. For nearly a half a century, Channel 4 has been bringing you news and entertainment from South Florida and around the world, of course. We were the first television station to broadcast in the state, and it all began 45 years ago today. A look back now at four and a half decades of WTVJ Channel 4. From all parts of Florida comes the news. The year was 1949, and Mitchell Wilson put WTVJ on the air as the first television station in the state of Florida, the only one here till the mid-50s. In the beginning, WTVJ ran kinescopes of shows from all the TV networks. So when you remember those classic years of early TV, Jack Benny, Arthur Godfrey, Kukla Fran and Ollie, Burns and Allen, they were only on four. What do you think of television? Oh, I think it's wonderful. You know, I, I hardly ever watch radio anymore. There was Steve Allen and What's My Line and WTVJ's own crop of local stars, Jackie Pierce. Well... Good afternoon. Here we go again. Alec Gibson, Judy Wallace. There were puppet shows, cooking shows, and dancing shows, and 20 years of Skipper Chuck Zink. And I am glad. But our reputation was built on news, sports, and weather. Bob Weaver, the weatherman, he decided to stick around for a while with that ridiculous bird. Jack of all sports with Jack Cummins. Jim Dooley, the Atlantic weatherman. Del Frank and the news at noon. And the first live remotes. But for the better part of the next four decades, one man was to dominate Miami television news, Ralph Rennick. Time left to say good night, and may the good news be yours. Ralph Rennick was more than just Mr. Channel 4. He invented local TV news, and he set standards we still respect. As I stated at the outset of this nightly editorial on September 2nd... Channel 4 may have had the feel to itself, but the station became a beacon of innovation. In 1957, Rennick instituted the country's first daily television editorial. They ran continuously for the next 28 years. The end of the 50s brought full CBS affiliation and the introduction of color. We and the rest of television were about to come of age. The 60s brought freedom flights from Cuba, the assassination of President Kennedy, a Republican National Convention on Miami Beach, a man on the moon, and more of Bob Weaver's scattered showers. It's great for all the grass and all the growing things around town. I don't know whether you noticed or not, but if you see that big car way back there, a few minutes ago, it was just a Volkswagen. But that's the way it is. Friday, July 31st, 1970. Walter Cronkite was the most trusted man in America by 1970, and the CBS Evening News a staple on Channel 4. WTVJ, Miami, South Florida's largest daily circulation. Ralph Rennick Report. The Rennick Report continued as the most watched news program in South Florida. Rennick used the 70s to redefine Channel 4 News. More reporters, more investigative reports. Dade Health officials found another dirty restaurant today. Remember, not on the menu? I went with health inspectors every day for three months, spotlighting deplorable conditions in South Florida restaurants. The series prompted major changes in restaurant inspection laws around the state. Along with a heavier emphasis on investigative news, Channel 4 gave South Florida another television first. Live reports, the birth of electronic journalism. Film was replaced in 1975 with tape and with the area's first live eye vans, capable of transmitting live reports from breaking news anywhere in our viewing area. But the 70s ended just like the 50s and the 60s. Weaver was still at it. Well, rain or sunny, the dolphins will emerge number one. -y. The 1980s were turbulent for Miami and for Channel 4. It was a decade of change. The Miami riots, the Mariel boat lift that was to change the character of our community forever. Along with the rest of the country, we said goodbye to MASH and had fond farewells for two old and trusted friends. This is my last broadcast. It is my decision, effective tonight, to step down. After nearly 36 years, Ralph Rennick was saying his final goodbyes. Weaver, you're the only one left here. What's, what's I'm happening? Gonna miss, I'm going to miss you. Yeah. I really am. <laughs> you have nobody to bounce your jokes off of. Yeah. Huh? Not going to be the same anymore. And it wasn't, of course. The winds of change had just begun. 
Miami had a new image. NBC saw a respected television station in transition. Our purchase by NBC in 1987 brought three decades of CBS affiliation to a close and prompted other local affiliation changes that rattled the status quo and remade South Florida television again. Because you need to stay in that enclosed room there. But if the 80s represented change for WTVJ, the 90s and Hurricane Andrew reminded us of our roots. As always, there and on the air when the big one breaks, the one to turn to when it counts. So Bob has been here for 45 years, almost as long as the station has been here. A solid commitment to community and to news. People with experience. People you can trust. People you know and some old friends who make it all worthwhile. What's on your nose, Weeby? It's my shamrock! Thanks, Bob. We needed that, I think. Bob Mayer, Channel 4 News. <laughs> well, Weeby doesn't have the shamrock. Anymore. See, some things never change, although he has grown up over the years. Uh, yes, uh, he got bigger and bigger. And, uh, and a lot more colorful. Right, and bigger. Well, that's the way it goes. Right, Weeby? Huh? Huh? Are we doing that now? No, is he just, do you want to give him an answer? Uh, Let, you, Sure, you, no, let's wait till All later. All right. Well, we want to tell everyone, please, to stay tuned throughout the day because there's a lot more to come on Channel 4's past and present. We're going to bring it to you throughout the day. Now it's time for you. Oh, what am I going to do? Well, it's time for you and Weavy. Is it? Yeah. Well, I don't know if he's ready. He's ready. Weavy, what do you have to say for yourself? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm 45 years old today. Huh? <laughs> I, I was born here. I'm still pretty, though, you know, right? You know what's missing? What? That little spring you used to have in your neck. Oh, I cut that off. <laughs> you <laughs> made me dizzy. Uh-oh. Well, anyway, I won't, it's... I won't touch that line. Never mind. It's birthday time! And happy birthday to Avika Carroll of North Miami, who turned eight yesterday. This greeting comes from her dad, James, and mom, Jessica, and brother, Jeremy, sister, Christy, her grandmother's and godmother. Happy birthday to Michelle Lee Holmes of Hollywood who celebrated her fourth birthday yesterday and this wish is from mommy, daddy and big sister Jessica. And happy birthday to Juno Beatty who is the owner of Wexy Radio in Fort Lauderdale. Best wishes come from Doug, Henry, Pam, Doris and especially her secretary LC who all say Juno is the greatest boss and a wonderful friend. Well, that's really nice when you think you're boss that way, isn't it? Yeah. Huh? That's pretty good. Now, uh, I tell you, we're not going to draw for T-shirts now. We're going to do that later. But right now, we are going to do some weather. All right. All right? Good. Let, let's take a look and see what the weather is going to be. First of all, temperature right now is uh, 70 degrees. And as far as everything else goes, uh, it's going to be a very warm day today. The relative humidity is already up. It's up to about 93%. And that simply means this that with the light winds and the high humidity, if you go out there, you're going to find some areas of fog. So be careful. Not too bad today, but tomorrow that fog might be heavy, so plan on a slow drive tomorrow. The winds are light and variable around five knots. They'll be mostly out of the south. That again is going to pop the temperatures, and uh, there's not much in the way of rain in the rain gauge. The overall forecast for today, Partly sunny skies. It's really going to be warm. Uh, the only break you might get would be with a few afternoon showers and a few thunderstorms. The high temperature, about 89 degrees, and it looks like it's going to stay that way probably uh, right through the week without too much change. If you're going up, for example, to around Orlando, they may get a little bit of a break. A frontal system will come down about halfway and then dissipate right around the Orlando area. So that's about it. All right. Thanks, Bob.